So I think that Trump going to the center and center left is indicative of the fact that he's burned bridges with the base and has to do this. And that will help him get reelected. I'm not denying it. He will be reelected for that reason. Also, the Democrats don't have their shit together. They just simply don't have a coherent message and they have terrible candidates, senile candidates. Absolutely. And let's talk about it since there's a news item about it. Bernie Sanders retracts endorsement of Cenk Uger for Congress. This is a fascinating aspect of the left. They have the person, Cenk Uger, to some extent. They kind of tolerate him. His fans are there on his YouTube channel and the Young Turks. That works. But as soon as he steps into the political arena, there's lots of pressure. He, he was leading a group, Justice Democrat or something like that. He was part of their organization. He got put on the side. Now he's running for Congress and Bernie Sanders is dropping him under the bus. Uh, quite fascinating. And all of it uh, related to statements of the past of Cenk Uger that we won't in detail review, but in general, let's say that they were bigoted statements about women and uh, also, uh, for some reason, <laughs> a, a support for animal uh, sex with animals as long as it pleasures the horse. <laughs> Yeah, the problem with Schenck and any internet personality that runs for office, like your Sargon of Akkad's, is that they talk way too much. And when they talk way too much, there's always dirt to find on them. And it's very challenging for an e-personality uh, to get any sort of political traction. Uh, so the issue here is that Schenck has also, if I'm not mistaken, faced uh, various Me Too allegations. Um, I know from talking to colleagues on the Hill, because uh, I do work with colleagues on the Hill, I do work for a number of conservative organizations here. Um, I can tell you for a fact that there is um, a long list of crap that's coming out on Chank, uh, allegations of staffers saying, you know, this happened, that happened. Uh, then you have the fact that Chank has um, been pretty hardcore in his support for Turkey and the denial of the Armenian genocide. And that's something that does not bode well uh, for the Democrats, certainly because they, you know, uh, try to appeal to that, uh, that segment of the population. And uh, it, it, it definitely come to Burnham. And then of course, Mr. Chank uh, is just, He's just a well-known personality, but can the guy really raise money? Can he really uh, win a general election? Does he have the manpower? Does he have the necessary, uh, you know, hardcore supporters, the unions, the traditional democratic constituencies? And if you're just a mouthpiece, uh, then you're not going anywhere. And this is what happened to Sargon in, in the Euro elections where, you know, he just was a pretty face. Well, not really pretty uh, but, you know, he was just just, you know, running around uh, saying, oh, look at me. I was on YouTube. Elect me. That's not good enough. You have to build coalitions. You have to build things on the ground. You have to do all that hard work. You have to pay deference to your constituents. Uh, you know, you can't take things for granted. And many elections have been lost because people did not pay respect to their voters. Absolutely. Now, do you think that Cenk, uh, that, that there's a chance that Cenk would, would win? I think it would be entertaining. I have a funny feeling Cenk will drop out. And I say that because there's going to be so much scandalous materials that will come out against him that might ensue in sort of uh, some sort of legal dilemma. And I think this gives him a chance to play victim and for him to return back to his TV program and say, uh, look at me, I'm persecuted, blah, 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 gives him a chance to further differentiate himself from the democratic establishment, uh, continues to make him the warrior of the far left, continues to make him the sort of champion. And then he uses this opportunity to harvest the list that he's made to raise money, to build a further political coalition, and he might lose this one battle, but in the end, he could win the war by grooming himself and grooming others to join him in a coalition. So I don't see him succeeding. I think he knows it himself that it's an uphill challenge, but you have to start from somewhere. And I, and I, from that political strategy perspective, I wholeheartedly respect him for that. And even Sargon is trying to do something similar to that. I don't know if it'll work in his case, though. 
Absolutely, and he feels it coming, I think, this wave of smearing, because he said today on Twitter, I believe, or maybe it was yesterday, that he, de- he demands people not to endorse him. <laughs> In other words, he's saying, my political brand is so toxic, don't associate yourself with me, I'm going to try winning as an individual. <laughs> so that's that's the basis on which Bernie Sanders allowed himself to retract. He, Bernie Sanders says, uh, Chank has announced that he didn't want any support or endorsement, and therefore I retract my endorsement. <coughs> Uh, when it comes from the man itself, it see, it, it, the man himself, it means that what, w- that he is expecting some big wave of uh, media smearing. Well, I suspect the Democrats and many of these high profile Democrats were willing to throw him out of the bus. And so Chank decided to save face by coming up with such an outlandish statement. Again, poli- all politics is theater. Uh, people should know that, uh, Politics, you know, there's no such thing as a coincidence in politics. All politics is theater. All politics is pre-planned. A lot of moves and decisions are thought of uh, 10 pieces a, uh, you know, ahead of time uh, so that the next set of moves that occur, uh, the politician doesn't have to react in a way that causes him to, to screw up. And so Cenk is a genius in that, saying, oh, if you endorse me, blah, blah, blah. And it's also a clever way for him to uh, insulate himself from potential criticisms that are going to come on his uh, outlandish views, of which there are many, many, many.